Namaste, gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Shreya Tayen, also known as Empress 1111. I'm about to do an energetic reading for the divine feminines. You know what? Something just crossed my mind before I get into this reading. About two weeks ago, I was kind of perusing through some of the readers' channels, just trying to get a feel for, you know, their progression, you know, their approach, their demeanors. And I read a caveat on one reader's channel that said, warning, this is for entertainment purposes only. So basically, because I am so over-analytical, I analyze every freaking thing. So what she is saying is that what she's telling you is not truth. And basically, believe it at your own risk. First of all, I am a professor and an owner of a metaphysical school. I'm a naturopath. So I have consultations and clients for that. I am a past life regressionist. I am a mother of seven children. I am a author. I have books. I have movies. I'd be damn am I going if I'm going to be sitting up here entertaining folks. Let me explain something to you. Not everything that I say may come into fruition for you because this is a general reading, okay? It is impossible for one reading to be a fit all for one person. However, there are times that I have done a reading that one person has contacted me and told me everything in a damn reading has come to pass. And this happens to me on a daily basis. I am not going to waste your time. If you're looking for entertainment, this is not the channel. This is the real deal. I have feelings and emotions just like you. And I do take those into consideration. This is not for entertainment purposes. This is the real shit. We are doing this thing called life, okay? It is as real as it gets here. The information that is on my channel is raw and uncut. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be truthful. Even when I don't want to be, I am going to be because that's all I know how to be. So if you're ready for a dose of your medicine, pull up a chair, have a seat, and I'll get right into this for you, okay? All right. For those of you that are new to my channel, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and current videos. And for you that are my pioneers and been with me for the last 30 days, you know how I do this. Let me go ahead and call in some help. I call in air, fire, water, earth, spirit, and ether. I also call upon the highest of the highest of the high, which is Yadhe Vahe, to be able to give me the information that is necessary for this moment in time in all directions and time and space, all universes, all dimensions, all parallel universes, and all states and levels of existence. And so it is. All right, Divine Feminine, I am hearing you. You've been pulling on me. You've kept me up last night about how you can't take how slow the divine masculine is moving and how his words are not aligning with his actions. His actions are devoid, everything that he's saying. And so the energy that I pull from you is that you guys are moving forward. A lot of you are already in your empress power and you're in the natural ebb and flow. So you're not really complaining about anything because you know that everything is going to happen in divine timing. But for those of you <clears throat> that have your panties in a bunch, this reading is for you. <laughs> All right. Crowning your reading, you have a four spring. If you look on this card, if you're not in union, you are in union. The divine is telling you, <clears throat> this must be a heavy reading, that you are in union within yourself, with the divine masculine within and the divine feminine within. You have unity. You have unification. You have reunion within yourself. You are not looking within if you're feeling anxious. You're not, not looking within if you are feeling that this is a turbulent windstorm that has come upon you to kind of take you under. No, come on, baby. Come back up to air and breathe. 
Breathe your head above that water. Do not drown in your sorrow because now is not the damn time. You have come too far to turn back now. God has given you so many signs and synchronicities in order for you to feel like, oh my God, it's not going to happen. What's not going to happen? Of course it's going to happen, but it's going to happen on divine timing, on the divine's time frame. You are not alone. There are countless others that are waiting on reunion too. And guess what? They ain't letting this shit take them up under the water. So get your bearings together, pull yourself together and move forward because that is what this is all about. Being in the natural ebb and flow of everything. We are co-creators alongside God. We don't give a ding dang what it looks like on a material plane because we know that shit is just an illusion anyway. What the divine masculine is saying to you, what the divine masculine is not saying to you, who cares? The divine masculine ain't controlling this. God is. And you have to put your crown back on or straighten it. If it ain't fell off yet, boo, because right now you have forgotten who in the hell you are. I want you to wake up and I want you to see on this card. I know you're not blind. There's two people there. You are always connected. You are always in union. I cannot stress this enough. I want you to sit, chew, mole on this Think about it, contemplate, revel in it, do whatever the hell you got to do until it gets to your thick skull, divine feminine, that you are in union with your boo. Whether he's physically next to you, lying next to you in that damn bed or not, you are in union. This path is not for the meek at hearts. You cannot be a spiritual weakling when you are in a divine soul contract with your twin. God did not promise none of us a rose garden. God did not say that this was going to be easy. So I am saying to you divine feminines that are struggling out there to strap your motherfucking boots on and enjoy the ride and walk as the soldier that you are because you are an earth warrior. You are ascending every single day. And it's okay if you descend because sometimes we need to descend in order for us to relax and retreat. Next, you have the seven of winter. Man, I'm coming pretty hard this morning. I am apologize. Sorry, not sorry. I am not sorry. I am not apologizing because this is the message that you need to hear. Okay? I ain't sugarcoating shit because at this moment, you need to hear this message the way that I am giving it to you because you have been feeling down for way too damn long. It is time for you to turn that frown upside down and get a smile on your face. Start smiling because you have so much to be grateful for. All right. There is a better choice. Not seeing things clearly, running away from the truth. Okay. Yes, exactly, dear. If you look at this card, this woman is basically balleting, ice skating on the ice. She's dancing on thin ice is what I'm getting from this picture. I feel like this is a divine message saying that you are skating or dancing on thin ice and you don't even have to. You're not even in the right dance arena. For one, you are looking at the glim and you're looking at the gloom of it all. And yes, although there is winter, spring must come. Spring will come. And it will awaken what is dead. And that is a hyperparably to your relationship with your divine masculine. He will awaken, if not already awakening. He is awakening, but he's awakening at his own pace, his own timeline, his own time frame, which he has already had written in the stars before you or him were incarnated in this lifetime of when he will wake the hell up. And so do you. You woke up on your own time frame, your own timeline with uninterrupted, um, unapologetic of when it happened. So allow is what I'm hearing from the divine. Allow the same reprieve for your baby. Allow him to wake up 
on his own time frame that he in you in the divine have already set in motion with ink in the heavens of when it was going to happen. You don't consciously remember and that is okay. You don't have to just know it's going to happen. The queen of spring, speaking about spring, believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you maintain a balance between work and home life. I'm seeing that right now there's a contradiction. Like this is kind of like the two of pinnacles, okay? You're trying to balance work and I'm going to even add an extra one, your love life, because it is freaking consuming you. You go to bed thinking about your divine masculine. You wake up thinking about your divine masculine. You breathe thinking about your divine masculine. You're in the shower thinking about your divine masculine. You're on the freaking toilet thinking about your divine masculine. You are brushing your teeth thinking about your divine masculine. You are driving down a ding dang on street thinking about your divine masculine. Pull back them down reins. Not one person in the world deserves to be occupied and on your mind that much besides the divine. If you're thinking about your divine masculine in every scenario of the day, you are imbalanced. You need to balance that shit out because that is an obsession and that is an unhealthy one. And that's exactly why you are being faced with this is because you need to control your obsession. And this is coming from someone who is a formerly obsessed twin. I used to text my husband from dawn to dusk, damn it, from the time that I woke up until the time that I went to sleep. And right now, I don't care to send him not one ding dang on text, okay? Because energetically, I feel him. I know he's around. He sends me telepathic messages. And right now, I have been blocking them because I don't want no contact at this moment. This is all about me and my healing process. So if I can help you by telling you to get it together mentally, this union is going to come into play on its own timeline. You can't rush it. You can't speed it up, nor in the hell can you slow it down unless you're out of alignment, which it sounds like that's what's happening right now. Get into, get in formation. Okay. Get into alignment. So you can become a vibrational match for your twin flame frequency. So you and your divine masculine can align. It's just that plain and simple, you guys. We are making this harder than what it ought to be, you see. The next card is the three of winter. Reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from this situation. Sadness that will heal with time. Okay, we know you're sad. Okay, it is obvious. You feel like an energetic hook has been yanked out of your heart through somewhere on the other side of the world, wherever your divine masculine is, and now you're left dying slowly each day because of his presence not being there. Okay, I get it. I've been there. I'm there now. However, this card is showing up to let you know that there is something in you that needs to heal that the divine masculine cannot do for you. And that is the reason why he is not in your vibrational alignment right now, because he is not aligned with whatever karma, if you have it, or whatever healing that you are going through. Maybe you're healing for something from your past life. Maybe you're healing for something that is a trauma that has been a weight that you've been carrying and dragging along with you in this ding dang on life. But whatever the case may be, your ass need to pull back and heal. You cannot heal in the environment in which it was caused. So if his ass is the cause of why you need to heal, surely he cannot be around why you're taking upon that medicine from Mother Gaia to heal. And this is why you are alone. I want you to start looking at this from a different perspective. Stop being emotional. Be the empress that you are. The empress is not emotional. She is heart. She is heart but she is also head over heart first. She thinks logical and then she weighs it out with her emotions. The heart is her filter, okay? But the mind and the and the, the logical sense of things is how she moves. She is centered at all times. So this is your get centered card. That is 
the message that's coming through for that card for me, for you. You are the star, honey. You are shining bright like a diamond. Bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Come on, girl. You are shining bright. You just got to know who you are because along the way in this perilous time without your divine masculine, you have forgotten. So this card has come up in your reading to tell you, you are that shining star. Look at or look to the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. So divine feminine. You are entering into your happy period right now, whether you know it or not. Here are the clarifying cards. You have to approach this with a childlike demeanor. You have to start singing, start dancing, start doing all the stuff you were doing at the beginning when you got your boo. The reason why you are not pulling or drawing in his love or his love offer, his love cup, because he can feel this shit. You ain't your true authentic self. You ain't in your true authentic power right now. Right now you are at the bottom at a low ebb and who wants that shit? I don't even want it. So why would you think that your divine masculine wants something that you wouldn't even want? Would you want this if this was him, if he was low and he couldn't give you his best? No, energetically, he is appalled to this. So get your vibration together, honey. You have the two of pentacles, okay? You are juggling between the spiritual and the physical. That's what I'm sensing. Normally, it's juggling between like work and romance. But right now, honey, you ain't juggling between no work and romance. Romance is all that's on your mind. So I feel that you need to come pull from the spiritual side more than you're pulling from the physical side of what you see, what's not happening, not what's not coming into manifestation or fruition for you at this moment. Think about all of the help that you got from the other side. Oh, M-G, if you only knew how many spiritual writers were there for you back in this union, conspiring to make this stuff happening, who you think woke your divine masculine up? It wasn't you. It was your spiritual team and your spiritual entourage. This carp is present to let you know, and I'm just clarifying as I'm going here, okay, to let you know you have many choices before you. You can choose to to be this little cat. This cat basically is your spiritual insight and your intuition and your magical craft. You could do the castle where you do the home life and you be the happy wife. You have the, the, the home and the hearth. You have the dragon, which is your transformation. You have the rainbow, which is your communication. You have the coins, which means that you can work with crystals. You can work with the earth. You can do earth magic. You have the butterfly, which is transformation. And you have the mermaid, which is the water, which means follow your intuition and your psychic abilities. And then you have the musician that's right here. So the world is yours with this seven of cups. You have many choices before you. If if this doesn't spell out more than anything, do not put all of your eggs in one basket, then I don't know what the hell this card spells out. You are blocking so many different things to come into alignment because you are so stuck on one thing. You are hell bent on this union. You also have the musician. Oh my God. Oh, thank you, Lord. You could not have showed up at a better time, musician. This musician is here to represent you, Divine Feminine. Look at this. You have your cup. You can put it into your cup, whatever you want. You can pull this union in if you want to. If you really, truly wanted union. And hear me and hear me out because I done came into union with my baby three times. I know what the hell I'm talking about. If you really want union, I'm going to give you a secret on how to get union. And the only reason why I don't have union right now is because I am healing. I realize that he is healing. We are both healing and I choose healing over everything. Okay. But if you really want union, Start visualizing this exactly the way that you want it. Stop thinking about what you don't have and focus on what you want. Not to become overly dramatized by it or to, you know, imagine and and, and make this some type of uh, aloof thing that's so far off that you have to keep on thinking about it until it comes into existence. No, be in the natural ebb and flow is what I keep on hearing from spirit and know that it's all going to come into play when you two are in a vibrational match in frequency. So right now is recollaboration time. 
What you need to do is recollaborate until you get your frequency on his frequency or he gets his frequency on your frequency. And right now, the divine is asking you to choose the highest frequency possible where you are at least 90% in your empress power. And when you're at least at 90% in, in your empress power, he is automatically going to be upgraded with his soul DNA because you're already soul DNA activated and coded to match your vibrational frequency. And that is when he's going to come in, whether it be today, whether it be next week, whether it be a year from now, it's all up to you, boo-boo. It's up to you to either speed it up or slow it down. If you keep on dramatizing the past and dragging the past around with you, chances are it's going to be far from out of your reach. But if you step into vibration of what it is that you want and get in full alignment and do the collaboration where you need to upgrade your soul DNA with taking in foods that are high vibrational, clean up your diet, clean your mind, detox your body, detox your mind. Uh, clean out your spiritual space declutter and i tell you when it comes baby you gonna be feeling like the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles has it all the money the honey the sunshine the life she's about that life she's classy she's sexual she's sensual and guess what everything that she wants is within her reach because she did the work to get there and so the queen of pentacles is you right now, divine feminine. You have to do the work in order to get the union that you want. And last but certainly not least, a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. I can't make this shit up. Partnering with others who share your dreams, great progress being made. This card is telling me to tell you, get with your soul tribe and vibe the hell out. Okay, get with some other twin sisters that are in separation from their twin. Get in a higher consciousness group and be active in it every day. Take your ding dang on mind off of this union. Seriously, I mean, you know what? I am not even being funny right now. I am being so 100% intrinsic. Stop thinking about the union. You know, the law of attraction is what you think about, you bring about. If you're dramatizing and you're dragging out, woe is me, I'm not with my twin, he doesn't love me. Oh, you're going to magnetize that and guess what's going to end up happening? You're going to send to his subconscious mind not to love you. And so he's going to pull back the ranks of his emotional love vibration to you and he's not going to love you. But just put in your mind, oh, whenever, you know, whenever I have a feeling like I'm feeling down, I'm like, oh, this feeling shall pass. This too shall pass because I honor some of the feelings and emotions that are coming because I need that in order for me to heal. But then when I get my emotional bearings together, I said, oh, my God, my husband loves me so, so much. I know that I am the love of his life. He cannot live without me. When I get to that point where I have the strength to say that, I do say that because I know that shit is the truth. You have to be so confident. This is not a time to lack confidence. Seriously, only those that have confidence, only those that have strength are going to win this race. And no, it's not a race like a marathon, but it is a race with yourself. You are racing to, to get rid of these old timelines, these old templates and break and shatter and dismantle these old paradigms so you can shift into the highest frequency and vibrational resonance that you can in order to bring into this union. I have concluded with my rating. There is no more that I can tell you. I have gotten a lot out in this short period of time. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a little donation if you feel inclined to do so. You can also purchase a gift from my gift registry from Amazon. And I wrap you on my love. I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. And so it is, everyone. Namaste. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be okay.